but exhaustion is not their only enemy. Stay calm! Swim this way! You don't want to be on the wrong side of that! Come on! The life jackets were very much starting to chafe on us and starting to really rub parts of our skin raw. So I, at one point, stripped out of mine and gave it to Steven. I gotta get Steven my jacket. Oh, oh thank you, Travis. Uh -huh. The men swim for over two hours. But they're making almost no progress towards the rig. And the effort is draining. It was the dumbest thing I can think of possibly doing in retrospect, because I was thinking that rig was probably about five, ten miles away, but my perspective significantly skewed at that point. The energy expenditure of trying to swim against the waves and against the wind, you're not going to get very far for the amount of energy that you're going to put out. Despite their desperately slow progress, the crew struggles on towards the rig. But exhaustion is not their only enemy. Stay calm! Swim this way! You don't want to be on the wrong side of that! Come on! We saw a Portuguese man of war, which was a jellyfish. Behind them will run anywhere from 20, 30, 50, 60 feet of tentacles stretched out with stingers on them. The long, deadly tentacles are filled with venom. As long as you stay away from them, you're fine. But you get stung by one of them, and you're dead. <laughs> Saw him drifting toward us. We knew we had to swim quickly. Swim harder! Come on! Faster! Come on! Come on! They finally escape the deadly jellyfish. But they push themselves to the limit. Getting to the rig now is impossible. Exhausted and dehydrated, they're forced to abandon their attempt. They've now been in the water for over 14 hours, and the ordeal is starting to take a terrible physical toll. By about 2 o'clock, it had been roughly 24 hours since I had last had any kind of food or drink, and I figured everybody else was in the same position, fairly dehydrated from being out there in the water and sweating it all out all day. The human body can survive 48 hours without water. But with the sun beating down and their skin exposed to salt water, the crew are succumbing rapidly to extreme dehydration. One of the big hazards of being in salt water is dehydration, which sounds totally backwards. You know, you're floating in the water and you're becoming dehydrated. Our fingers were just puckered up and just totally, you know, dried up. late that afternoon, and we actually saw it hovering out off in the distance. After withstanding 14 hours out in the ocean, it seems that their ordeal is about to end. Go over here! But 
the five men have been dragged by ocean currents, and they are now miles from the sunken boat. They can do nothing but watch helplessly as the search plays out in the distance. We could see them the whole time. They just couldn't see us. It builds you up, and then it crushes you. Oh, God, there it is. You know, this could be the one, and then it's not. They're never going to find us. 